Hello everybody, this is the Top Hat Life and welcome to episode 3 of eBay Day Every Sunday. And today, like I mentioned in the last video, I have a 6 Funko Pop Mystery Box from Amazon. And I will be opening this today and checking it out and see if I got anything good. So let's get right to it. Got an upgrade on my opening tool here. So it should be a lot easier. Oh yeah. There we go. That works like a dream. Okay, that's all done. I'm going to first put the box this way. So I have no idea what's inside. Okay, there we go. Open the box. Now let's see what we got first. Okay, here we go, here's our first one. Now, in this mystery box, there's supposed to be two like limited edition or better pops than other boxes. And looks like here we got, looks like a common, nothing too special from Fight Club. Right here. I'm looking at the box and the box seems to be in good shape. And nothing looks wrong with it. Just a little bit of, you know, dust. Now I'm gonna set this here. You guys can get a good look at that. While I look this up, actually, I'm just gonna scan this, would be easier. Using the Funko app on my phone. That's what I thought. Six dollars. Very common. Actually, most commons I see are seven dollars, so this guy is only six dollars. Now let's move on to number two. Oh, okay. We got Bill Murray from Zombieland number 1000. Nice even number actually. I like that. And you know, these look pretty cool. I've heard of Bill Murray before. Of course, I don't know much about him. But I've heard of Zombieland too. But this is pretty cool. So I see no dents or anything wrong with the box. Box looks very nice, brand new. Okay, this is not Bill Murray Chase, which would have been $36. This is another common, $6. So we're at 12. And, oh yeah, I paid $38 for this box and there's supposed to be two good ones. So the price sounded very reasonable. I mean, even if they're all commons, I'd probably stay still make my money back maybe so let's see what's for round three now we got a exclusive here star wars so you can see there star wars smugglers bounty exclusive Jin Erso from star wars rogue one number 148 which is very nice it looks very nice and box looks great actually all the characters on the back look cool would like to have them all but let's see what the price is on this one okay so this doesn't have a barcode so there's no way for me to scan this let me just look this up then okay i can't find this one on the funko app so it looks like i'm gonna go to ebay one second so I looked on eBay, sold, and it looks like the highest I saw after scrolling down a little bit was about 12 bucks and the lowest I saw was like a couple dollars. Which I'll just say it's a common and average at $10 because that's about what it's worth I would say. Oh, uh, honestly this pop looks very interesting. Um, number 897, Kling. From the world of Sid and Marty Croft. It's a limited edition from Toy Tokyo, New York 2019. Um, I'm going to be honest and say I've never seen this before here. Kling and Clang. Saying that together, I feel like I've heard of it, but let me see what this is worth. Okay, this one's got a barcode so I can use the Funko app. And figure out how much this is worth this one looks like trending values 12 bucks so 
that's pretty good. We got 10, 12, plus 12 already over here. And we got 24, 34. I only paid 38, and we're only at four pops. So the next two should technically be getting my money's worth back out of this. So let me check we're on round five. Honestly, these mystery boxes can get pretty uh, addicting. Not knowing what you're gonna get and getting something pretty good. Okay, we got the Joker from Batman 337. Looks pretty cool. We got a... Uh, hmm. The box is in very good shape. Nothing's wrong with it. This is from the 1989 Batman. Oh, no wonder he looks old. Okay, let me figure out how much this is worth. It is worth a whopping, ah, uh, it's worth $7. If it was the chase, it would have been $46. But all in all, it looks really cool. So let me set this one over here. Now it's time for the last one. We already have our two limited editions over here. So, the last one should just be a common, unless they decided to be very nice with me, and just give me a nice one. And we got Constance Hatchaway from the Haunted Mansion. Number 803. Box looks to be in great shape. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what the Haunted Mansion is, it's from Disney. I guess I'm not keeping up enough, but let me see how much this is. I'm sure it's a common worth six or seven bucks. Oh, insufficient data for trending value. Okay, so I'm gonna say it's, let's just put a safe $8. I'm not gonna go to 10 on that one. So let's bring out the calculator here and add it all up. We had $7 here. These two are $6 each, so I'll add 12, seven plus 12. That one was, what was it, $7, yes. These two, that one average at 10, that one was 12, so let's add 10 plus 12, $48. So I paid 38 for everything and got $48 worth of pops. All of them look really cool. I don't have really a collection yet, so all these are new. There's no duplicates, which is nice. And I've never heard of some of them, which is nice because it's always cool getting surprises like this. But these will probably not be going on eBay. We're probably gonna keep these and start a collection now. So, sorry if you don't see these on eBay and you go look, they probably won't be there. Just gonna let you know now. But I thought this was really cool, $38. $48 worth of pops I got. Mystery box, two of them were exclusives. Not a grail or anything or anything super amazing. But all in all, I liked it. It was a good box. Okay, so what we got in this mystery box this video was Tyler Durden from the Fight Club, number 919, common. Bill Murray, Zombie Land, number 1000, common as well. Constance Hatchaway from the Haunted Mansion, 803, common. And the Joker from Batman, number 337, common. And then we got our two exclusives at the top, of course. We got Kling from K.R. Puffna. Puffin Stuff. Puffin Stuff. Puffin Stuff. H.R. Puffin Stuff? Yeah. Number 897, Kling, Toy Tokyo, New York 2019 Limited Edition. And we got Jin Urso, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty exclusive from Star Wars Rogue One, number 148. Overall, I like all these pops. Probably gonna start a collection soon with these, so these probably won't be on eBay, but they'll be in my collection. Oh, would you look at the time? That's all I have for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see future content or videos, subscribe. Big red button down below. And I 
thank you for watching yet again. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.